What's good, YouTubers and YouTubettes? This is JB Sports back again with another one. Tyson Fury versus Deontay Wilder 3 will take place on December 19th. And the two locations that the fight will take place in will be either Macau, China or Las Vegas in the new Las Vegas Raiders football stadium. But the date that they're uh, slated for them to take on the matchup between the top two heavyweights in boxing today will be December 19th. You heard it here first. There's been a lot of speculation on when this fight was going to take place. You know, it originally was supposed to take place in July, but it got pushed back due to COVID-19. And then it's been rapid speculation about the fight taking place in October, November, or December. But I'm here to tell you on this video that the fight will take place December 19th. The only thing that they're trying to find out is what location will the fight take place in? Will it be in Macau, China, which is the slight favorite right now, or Aztec Stadium, the new home of the Las Vegas Raiders? Now, um, the pandemic it is, is it still uh, going strong, you know, you know, you know, still going strong right now. It's still spiking in a lot of different states and, uh, a lot of prognosticators that were hoping that the virus slow down when it starts heating up uh, has shown no evidence up to this date that it's slowing down as the temperatures are rising uh, in the United States. Now, Las Vegas, which uh, is um, is known to be a very hot, hot, hot state, one of the hottest states in the United States, if not the hottest state in the United States, it's going to come down to the NFL. It's going to play a big part in this. Now, if the NFL season starts and they're not allowing any fans in the stadium when the regular season starts, that I, that's going to be an ominous sign that uh, Wilder Fury would not uh, take place uh, in Las Vegas. Because if they're not having fans for football games, they're not going to have fans for a boxing match. You know, as big as this fight is, they, will, they wouldn't be able to allow that if they're not allowing it for the uh, teams when they're playing uh, there. When they're not allowing teams to uh, have fans in the stadium, they're not going to allow uh, – a boxing match to take place in a football stadium. Now the uh, caveat is that um, Bob Arum, you know Al Heyman, PBC, you know the two joint uh, promoters for this uh, fight, gonna have to make a decision. You know they're gonna have to make a decision, and um, they're gonna have to make a decision on what's. Uh, you know they got to look at the you know talk with the medical officials and say like what's the likely scenario? Are we gonna have a second wave in October? If it's 70, 30, you know, 70% chance it's going to be a wave, then I think the best uh, course of action is to take the fight to Macau, China. Macau, China has, uh, as Bob Aaron stated in, in recent interviews, have had very little uh, uh, coronavirus new cases since this uh, pandemic first started. They pretty much got the uh, coronavirus under control, you know, so that's why they're bidding to have that fight in Macau, China. And if that's the case... That would be the uh, best, uh, you know, location for Wilder Fury 3. Now, um, it's going to be very, very interesting to see what happens, man. You're going to have to make a decision because a fight of this magnitude, you're going to have to do promotions. So we're getting into, uh, we're in the June. This is half, you know, we're basically halfway through 2020. Now, you start getting into July, you're getting into, towards, you know, you're getting into the second half of 2020. You're going to want time to promote that fight. You want to at least have at least five to six months out before, uh, you know, in promotion and uh, getting everything lined up, getting everything set up to maximize the visibility and maximize the promotion and maximize the potential revenue for uh, Wilder Fury 3. So I think they will want to have that going out. That's the mistake they made in the last fight, you know. Even though the fight did generate uh, good uh, pay-per-view numbers and uh, showed a good profit, they could have did much better if they would have uh, announced that fight a little earlier and got the promotion started a little early. They kind of announced the fight maybe around about a month out, a month, a month and a half out before the fight actually took place, even though it was widely known that they, those two guys were going to get in the ring. But they didn't officially announce it and get the ball rolling on that front until a month out before the fight. This time, you don't want to make the same mistake, especially if you're going to take it over to Macau, China. You're going to want to make sure it gets uh, gets the uh, proper recognition and a proper proper. Uh, visibility here in the United States as well or abroad to get to maximize the numbers. Like the second fight did around 850,000 pay-per-view buys. Clearly, 
surpassing the 250,000 pay-per-view buys, which is widely known in the U.S. to show a profit in a pay-per-view fight. So it cleared that by 600,000. Didn't do the numbers that uh, a lot of uh, the lead promoters were saying. You know, um, you know, Bob Aaron was saying that he want he want he thought if I could do two million and didn't do two million. Uh, I think. Um, Deontay Wilder was saying this around the same number, around two, three million. He thought the fight could do, and it and it fell well short of that. And that gave uh, ample ample opportunity to people like Barry Hearn, who have not seen a financial record, who have never put on a fight of this magnitude, to come out and say the fight did not make any money. And Wilder and the Fury will have to take a reduced salary in the uh, third fight, or the fight's not going to happen. He doesn't think the fight's going to happen. That's why that's why you gave them that little light at the end of the tunnel for them to come out and make outrageous and. Uh, uninformed statements like that so we'll see what happens we'll see what transpires man but uh december 19th is the uh date they're just trying to find out where they're going to do they're trying to hold out hope that maybe they can do that fight in vegas but it's uh it's going to be very very uh tough tough for them to do that in my opinion because uh you know we've, we've had a spike in uh 21 states here in the united states uh, there are a lot of uh, medical officials are, pre uh, are predicting a, a wave in October, and if that's the case, um, they're not going to have be able to have fans uh, uh, for a fight like that in uh, December. I would not believe. You know, they, they're not going to be able to do that. You know, with the promotion and stuff, they're not going to be able to take that chance two months out before a big fight like that. They're going to have to take it to uh, Macau, China, which has, uh, like I said earlier, have uh, had relatively few new. Uh, coronavirus cases in their uh, country, so we'll see what happens. We'll see what transpires. On side, on the side note, uh, Tyson Fury came out uh, the other day and said that uh, he 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 need uh, he he uh, Deontay Wilder. He don't paraphrase this. He said Deontay Wilder need to uh, give uh, Mark Breland a raise, uh, give him you know for stopping that fight when he did. You know, he said if that fight would continue, he said it wouldn't be a third fight. He said he would have uh, retired Deontay Wilder. So that's so he said he ought to thank Mark Breland for uh, stopping that fight and and, and that's for allowing uh, Deontay Wilder to get a third fight and get another payday, which he wouldn't have been able to got uh, if he they didn't let that fight continue because he said he would have feared he would have retired uh, Wilder. So we'll see what happens. We'll see what transpires. But December nineteenth is the date for Deontay Wilder versus Tyson Thur Tyson Fury three. The only thing we're waiting on is the venue, and I've show I told you the pros and cons of uh. The fight taking place in Las Vegas, or in the fight taking place in, uh, or the fight taking place in Macau, China. It's not too many uh, cons as far as a uh, fight taking place in Macau, China. It's just that you know, you know, this fight here, you know, you you think this fight is pretty much belongs in the United States. The first two fights were very successful in the United States, and if it wasn't for this pandemic, it would be uh, going down again in Las Vegas. But this pandemic came along and kind of uh, changed everything up made everything upside down and now you've got to make alternative uh plans and alternative decisions and that's what uh top rank and pbc are looking to do so we'll see what happens we'll see what transpires and we'll see uh we'll keep a close eye on this pandemic and i think you'll probably see some official uh sometime uh in uh sometime uh within uh july i think sometime next month and next uh I say some. I put it like this: sometime in the time frame of the middle part of June to the middle part of uh, July, you should see an official announcement for uh, Tyson Fury, Deontay Wilder, uh, where they're going to have that fight at. It's going to be in Las Vegas, or it's going to be in Macau, China. We'll see what happens, and we'll see what transpires. This is JB Sports, the man, the myth, the legend. Subscribe to my channel and let me know what you think on Fury Wilder three. And where you think it should take place? Or do you think they maybe should just hold off and maybe put the fight off till uh, 2021? And maybe they can then have the fight here in the United States. Let me know what you think in the comment section. This is JB Sports once again. The man, the myth, the legend. I holla.